Hi, thanks for following this journey from Chile to Texas. Today, I would like to tell you more about Bolivia to Uruguay portion of my trip. After leaving Lake Titicaca, I headed to southwestern Bolivia. On the way, some Bolivians tried to tell me that I had to pay double price for gas. It was a lie and I bought gas elsewhere for a normal price. I drove on the side of a uni salt flats, but I did not feel like driving in it, so I took a jeep tour. After Uyuni, the road wasn't all that great, then it improved, and then again, it was pretty crappy. From Sucre to Santa Cruz, the road was the worst anywhere in Bolivia. I drove into deep sand at a pretty high speed and fell off the bike. It could have ended much worse than with just a broken light. Distracted from the accident, somehow, I almost drove off the road again minutes later. Finally, after about 10 hours of dirt road, I was back on asphalt. I made it to Santa Cruz after 15 hours of riding. From Santa Cruz going south, both the highway and the scenery were excellent. But to make me remember how much I came to hate dirt roads, I found out that the road to Paraguay's border, that Lonely Planet said was asphalted, was, and to this day probably still is, work in progress. Once in Paraguay the road was really nice, for the most part anyway. In Ciudad del Este I blended in the traffic and without any border checks crossed into Brazil to see Iguazu Falls. The roads were good, the countryside pretty and the weather was nice. Then in southern Paraguay I got hit by a major rainstorm. Definitely a disadvantage being on a motorcycle when it starts raining, raining like this. The rain lasted less than an hour and so soon I was crossing a bridge to Argentina. So this is a pretty exciting moment. We are about to hit 10,000 kilometers with this motorcycle. Not far from Buenos Aires I made some biker friends, so we rode together for a while. Although at my 90 km per hour they needed to slow down their usual speed just a bit. On this ride I also overtook Checkmate Tatra, which was heading for Dakar Rally. From Argentina a bridge led me to Uruguay. Here even the secondary roads leading nowhere were really good. Riding Montevideo's coastline avenue, which I knew from TV news, was exciting and felt somewhat unreal. Right now I'm just outside Santa Teresa Fort in northern Uruguay and I'm about 40 kilometers away from the Brazilian border and I must say I've really enjoyed the ride in Uruguay but I'm definitely looking forward to crossing to Brazil and spending next couple of months crossing the huge country of Brazil. I just need some place